On my channel, I do a lot of videos where I take famous logos and I give them redesigns as if they were made in Comic Sans font, which is, if you don't know, one of the most hated fonts there is. And in doing so, between doing this on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Reels, I have so many of these designs that I thought it'd be fun to kind of share with you all on here every Comic Sans redesign I've ever made. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of stuff with logos. So if that's something you're into, then go ahead and subscribe. So in this one, you'll see some videos where I'm explaining the process of how I made them, as well as just a compilation of everything I've ever made. Enjoy. Today I'm gonna to show you how I gave these five logos Comic Sans redesigns. So I started with McDonald's and this one was pretty simple. I typed out a large M in Comic Sans, rasterized it so that I could edit the layer directly. I typed out the rest out in Comic Sans bold and played around with the spacing and placement. Then I drew a box with the selection tool and deleted the part of the M, and here is the final result. Next I did Oreo, and this involved typing out Oreo and transforming it with the warp tool. Then I gave it a blue stroke, made the white letters have a bevel and emboss effect, gave the blue some gradients and bevels, then finally gave that one another outer stroke that I embossed, and here is how it turned out. Next was Pac-Man. I made the logo a vector in Illustrator and took out the back rectangles from it. I then typed it out and made each letter its own object, and with the pen tool made it so that the letters were blocky like in the logo. Once I was done with them, I made a blue and white copy, added in the black accents with the pen tool, and here is the final result. Next I did Roblox. This is pretty simple. I typed it out, and then to make the boxes, I combined two of the letter N's in Comic Sans together to create this box shape. I cleaned it up a bit, and then duplicated it to make the inner box. I put that all together, and this is how it came out. Last one today is Mario Kart. I started by typing it out and arranging it right. Then I gave it the red and yellow gradient. I added a stroke and separated the two so that I could fill in all the right spots. I gave it a bevel and emboss, and here's that all complete. I weirdly think most of these don't actually look that bad. But let me know what you think and which logos I should do next in the comments. Today I'm going to show you how I make my Comic Sans logos. Okay, up first I chose CNN. For this one I just typed out CNN in Comic Sans, turned them into vector by hitting create outlines. Then I grabbed some of the points in the C and drag it over to the N. Then I deleted some points in the middle N, moved the last one over, and then using the shape builder tool I made all that one continuous shape. Alright, Early's joining the chat. Finally just with the pen tool I traced the little inner line and this is the final result. Okay, up next we have Ferrari. This one was kind of easy. First I transformed the entire logo into a vector just to get rid of this weird green thing that was there. Then I just erased the original Ferrari, typed it out in Comic Sans, and again selected those points and drug it over to make the F be as long as it needed to be. Up next we have Volkswagen. This one was a little trickier. I basically turned the Volkswagen logo into a vector. Then I made a circle and then using the Pathfinder tool, I broke out the inner VW. Then I just typed out VW in Comic Sans and again selected the different points I needed to and drug those out. And here's the final result. Lastly, I did the Google logo. This one was pretty self-explanatory. I just typed out Google in Comic Sans, created outlines and changed the color of each one. Let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. Today I'm going to be giving sports logos Comic Sans redesigns. Okay, so I started with the Green Bay Packers logo and I feel like the G is just very iconic, so I wanted to see what it would look like in Comic Sans. I basically just had to paint over the green part of the logo and erase Packers and replace them with Comic Sans. 
I manipulated the sizing and I ended up with this monstrosity. The Lakers one was a little more complicated. I started by selecting all the black details from the ball and masked those out. Then I added a yellow circle under it. I typed out the words and used the skew transform tool to make it italicized. Then I masked out some of the tiny little lines that are on the Lakers and drew in my own. And I got this like children's basketball team looking logo. I also did the Chicago Bulls, which really was just erasing the logo and then adding in the font. Similarly, I did the same thing with the Yankees one, which didn't work as well because even the uppercase Y and Comic Sans has a little slanted leg on it. But here's that one all finished. Which of these horrific sports team logos was your least favorite? Let me know in the comments. Today I'm going to be giving famous movie posters Comic Sans redesigns. Today I'm going to show you how I gave these logos Comic Sans redesigns. Okay, so to start, I did this one in Photoshop, and I started by picking up that red color and painting over all the letters. Once I was happy with the blank logo, I typed out Folgers in Comic Sans bold font. I played around with the bevel and emboss settings to add that gold inner bevel. Then I added a drop shadow, added in since 1850 in Comic Sans, and here is the final result. Honestly, this one doesn't look too bad in Comic Sans, but I really do think I like the original one better. Next I did SpongeBob, I typed out SpongeBob in yellow, and gave it that same blue stroke as the original. Then I typed out Square Paint and what I didn't realize is that some of the letters were capitalized and some weren't so I had to play around with the sizing and placement a lot here I actually think this one looks almost identical to the real one if you didn't have the real one to look at next to it next I did lays in order to get this down to a blank canvas I actually used the spot healing brush tool I played around with it until all the letters were gone then I just typed out lays in comic sans making the L a little bit bigger than the rest to match the real logo I used the skew transform tool to make it look like it was in italics, and then I added a red drop shadow to match. And here is the final result. I actually think the playfulness of this one might work even a little bit better than the original logo. Last I did Cartoon Network, which was pretty simple. I made a black and white box using the shape tool and replaced all the letters with Comic Sans. And here's the final result. Again with this one, I actually don't think it looks too bad considering it is a cartoon channel. Let me know in the comments which logos you want to see me do next. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like, send it to a friend and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments which of these Comic Sans redesigns was your favorite. Thanks for watching.